Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing a recording of 17th of September Kali Blessing. Now something which is very very important, very crucial but has been taken in a very negative way. Something which is a concept of detachment. Most of the people when they talk about detachment, they talk about totally detaching themselves physically, emotionally, mentally from people around them. Even distancing themselves physically. Now, oh, Supreme Court Father is here to refine the meaning of detachment. It doesn't really mean that you run away from a person, run away from a situation, run away from your friends, from your relatives, from people whom you don't like. In worse come worse situations, if they are physically violent, obviously you need to move out. But here detachment means that while living with them, such a beautiful thing, while living with them, while serving them, you are taking care of your responsibilities but you are ready to so say no when you can't do it at the same time you don't expect anything from them in terms of favors in terms of thank yous in terms of well done's or anything why because you're receiving all that anything which you want from them from the supreme creator with the help of raj yoga meditation but if you're not a raj yogi meditator please don't try this out because you will increase your frustration, you will increase your depression levels high. Because we are talking about people are actually attaining happiness, joy and pleasure when people get a little bit of name and fame, when they accomplish something in their life and when the family members, relatives or friends because of that accomplishment, that name and fame, they give them more of respect they spend more of time with them, that acts like a happiness booster. That acts like a serotonin or a dopamine, the happiness hormone booster. Now the same happiness hormone, you can do things in life. It's not that you don't achieve things in life, you don't do great in life. But God says that while being in this world, doing your things, you can still live with your family members, with your relatives, with your friends, with your colleagues, without wanting any kind of, any form of respect, desiring any form of name and fame. And the plus point, by the way, it's not that you have to totally cut off from this. The plus point, the reverse psychology, or the other side of the coin of this is when you don't desire any of it, you get more of it. That's a secret. So the only thing is when I don't want any of it, where should I put my mind to? Where should I get it from? That's where the Rajuk meditation comes. So God over here says, may you be free from attachment and detached. Free from attachment to outcomes of things, what people say, and detached from worldly things while living with your family and thereby receive God's love. See, this is the condition for receiving God's love. So God says, while having while having and living with your family have the aim of being at a service place to do service you thinking that i am at this place i am serving my parents my serving my friends serving my brother sisters i am here but with a detached outcome no attachment to the outcome no attachment to whether they praise you whether they say wow nice idea oh lovely you are so nice you are so kind you are so always helping me without you cannot love all those praising words, all those bondage words, no. These bondages we learn, very subtle bondages we learn in Brahma Kumaris, where we can be free but we can still be serving them. Wherever you are living, let the atmosphere there be like that of a service place. You are working, you are helping them out, being polite, being kind, being loving, but at the same time not expecting the same kind of behavior from them. A household means to have an attitude of being beyond. That is of not having any consciousness of mine, my place, my way, my method. I did so much. I have done so much. What did I get in return? But of everything belonging to the father. It's not me who is doing it. He is getting it done. Not my body. Through this body which is a gift of God, I am helping. I am using the energies of this body to serve those souls in my family, in my place of work, in my place of worship or anywhere per se. So God then says this is an attitude of 
of being beyond so if you have this attitude of being beyond beyond the small small nitty gritties of i did this what did that person do i have done so much i speak so politely but that person is still harsh to me no that's where detachment needs to be there i've been doing so nicely i've been so quiet i've been so polite but still that person is like this to me quiet you are still loving you are still working you are still helping them out even after all that because you're drawing all the love all the power through the power of meditation from the supreme creator from the supreme infinite energy you're receiving the energy of love energy of happiness from the supreme creator and not from anybody else but that takes time and that's what we learn in brahma kumaris next god says let anyone who comes experience you to be detached and loving to god do not have attachment for anyone that means no favoritism can also happen in you in your family in your workplace somebody who comes over butters you up you are very nice to that person somebody you find out that somebody is actually talking back biting for you and you become different that's where the politics starts in your family that's where the politics starts in your workplace and you spoil everything for yourself and especially if you're a business owner you're going to spoil everything if you're going to take sides just because somebody is nice to you somebody is butting up and somebody is not nice to you be very careful this is where detachment and attachment is going to harm you god then says do not have attachment for anyone let the atmosphere be a logic non physical nothing of the worldly i don't need anything worldly from this person so whether he butters me up or doesn't butter me up i don't need anything let your speaking and doing be the same and you will receive number 1 your speaking and your doing that means you are making everybody equal within your family within your workplace you're getting me right now this equal can only come when you don't need anything that means you're able to help and you're able to act and react to everyone in the same manner it doesn't mean that you are actively scolding everybody around scolding also means or getting angry with everybody also means that something didn't come something didn't happen in your way and that's why you're not happy we're talking about detachment and attachment for you to be happy not for you to be angry at somebody equally no so if you want to learn more about this contact me or you can get into a brahma kumari center nearby you and get more details about this this om shanti